Hi everyone, this is Shulbha Sharma and today we are going to complete the chapter I love all of the subject moral science. Please note that this is a revision part of the chapter. I love all. So this story is about Ajay and his father. Once upon a time, they were watching a story on the computer. An old father and his young son were on the screen. They were sitting in front of their home. Suddenly, the old man noticed something in the green lawn. What is that, my son? He asked. That's a sparrow, the son replied. After some time, the old man asked again. What is that? And the son said, I just told it is a sparrow. And the son was getting irritated. The man again asked after some time, what is that? What nonsense, that is a sparrow. Did you understand? He said in an angry mood to his father. The old man did not say anything. He went inside and came out with a diary. He marked a page in it and gave it to the son. The son went through the lines of that page, which were written 28 years ago. Today morning, my little son Anil, aged two and a half years, <clears throat> saw a sparrow perching in the yard. He was astonished to see such a creature. He asked what it was <clears throat> and I replied it was a sparrow. He repeated his question. 30 times and I replied all the 30 times that it is a sparrow. The son could not continue reading. He embraced his old father lovingly. Ajay realized and said, Dad, I am lucky to have parents and grandparents like you. Yes, sure. Grandparents are a blessing to all of us. We have a lot of things to learn from them. Books of all religions teach us to respect elders. We listen to the voice of God through these books. Grey hair is the crown of glory. Some students of my class don't like grandpa and grandparents. They say that they are useless. Father said that is a wrong way of thinking. The cultureless people speak like this. Do you know? What Kofi Anna, the former president of UNO, speaks about them? A society for all ages is one that honors traditional elders in their leadership, which means that we should always respect our traditional elders and their leadership. Thank you, Dad. It is you 
who taught me to love my grandparents. I know how much you love me. You are always with me to help and guide me. You correct me whenever I go wrong. Oh dad, I love you so much. Ajay embraced his dad. Ajay, you should love and respect everybody at home. Do you know how much your mama loves you? Yes, dad, I know. She carried me for nine months, forgetting all her comforts. She took care of me since my birth. Not only that, but she also nursed me and stayed close to me when I was sick and so on. She does all these things because she loves me very much. Very good. It looks like you remember everything. Your mother gets up early in the morning and does a lot of work. She spends quality time with you and teach you. She sleeps late at night. Did you ever thank your mama for the wonderful work that she's doing? Yes, Papa, I will surely do it. So every day, just like that, you must thank God for the gift of your grandparents, parents and your little brother. Dad, I love my little brother very much. But sometimes he throws my books and takes my pencil box. He also comes to fight with me. That's true. He is your younger brother. As he is small, he does not know what to do with your books and pencil box. Actually, he comes to you not to fight, but to love. I'll tell you one more story about that. A beautiful drawing of praying hands is the best known work of the great German artist and mathematician Albrecht Dürer. One widely accepted version of why he made such a drawing is that Albrecht and his brother Albert wished to study art. But this was impossible because the family of 18 children were very poor. They both agreed to toss a coin. They decided that the loser of the toss would work in the mines to support the winner in his studies. The winner would then become a successful artist and assist the other brother to study art on his turn. However, Albert's work in the mines, which had allowed, sorry, it made him impossible to ever paint again because his hands were destroyed. Both of them cried bitterly. Then, with tears in his eyes, Albrecht drew the hands of Albert to pay homage to him and to make those hands be ever remembered. Both of them cried again. So this was a short story of two brothers and the love between them. Here on the slide we can read that family is the place where 
the members live share and enjoy together we all must be ready to love and sacrifice for one another which means that we should always respect the elders and be ready to give and take love to them everybody respects deserves respect and so does our elder our parents our grandparents even the younger ones they also deserve to be loved and respected let's move on to the next slide as we have studied the previous two questions in the revision part 1 Here is the third question. Write two good inspirations you get from your parents. The two inspirations that we get from our grandparents are we should be calm and we should be honest. When we are calm and composed, we are able to understand the other person perspective better which means there will be no misunderstandings and we will be able to talk to them nicely and politely being calm means being humble as well if we will be humble people will like us for that the next one is we should be honest we should always be honest with our work and our deeds because at the end it is the honesty which stands us apart God always helps honest people. Let's have a look at the next question. So, the next question is write two good qualities you find in your grandmother. Although there are many good qualities in our grandparents that we cannot keep account of but since we have to mention only two of the qualities that two about our grandmother so we would say that she is very loving and caring and the next one is she is very religious minded grandmothers are very loving and caring they love us because we are the children of their children so we are automatically very precious to them also since grandparents have lived more and have more experience they are more inclined towards the religious mind and they are very devotional let's see the next question did you like the story of praying hands write the message that you got from the story the answer would be yes we liked the story of praying hands The story tells us that nothing in this world is impossible. With the unity we can achieve our goals. So both the brothers did not lose hope and did not give up. The reason why they achieved their goals. Let's see the next question. 
Now we have to fill the blanks. First one, dash our blessings to all of us. Grandparents are blessing to all of us. You must thank whom? God for the gift of your grandparents. The book of all religions teach us to respect elders. Gray hair is the dash of glory. Gray hair is the crown of glory. The praying hands is the work of Albrecht Durer. Thank you so much for listening. Please practice these exercises at home. God bless you.